All right, coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Dustin the Diamond Poirier and Khabib Nurmagomedov. You ready? Are you ready? Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the fight capital of the world. With respect to anywhere else you want to go, if I'm a fighter, if I'm an athlete in combat sports, this is where I want to be. You want to fight in Vegas, and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop of tonight's great UFC event. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Poirier gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. These guys throwing early. Well, he oh! didn't like that left hand. Oh, he might be out. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Nice kick. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kick, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over. Gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That is Nice land there by Nermago Medov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches. Not only at the American Kickboxing Academy. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, no! Oh! And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh, big left! Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Now two next. Archer, there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Okay, now you ready? You ready? All Two right, points. second round underway. Oh! Oh! See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. 58 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Pool. And connecting with a 39% accuracy right here tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Good punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. 
Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the score, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Poirier gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up. The yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got him oh! hurt very bad. Some real power shots here. Continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll get to kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him the sky, and now he's got a hurt back. Michael Maddox's lower jaw does not look good. I don't know. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.